And I had something in mind. I was just thinking about this morning. If you did some sort of an image on paper, you paint or draw it on paper, I could make a plate that could perhaps echo mm -hmm. your image in some sort of way or other. Yeah. And then reflect upon that, create this plate, and then ink it up and print it right on top of your, mm -hmm. your drawing, your painting, yeah. mm -hmm. whatever mm -hmm. it is that you're doing. And will that first drawing have to dry? I would think so. Yes, yes. Alrighty? Yeah. And we're going to flip it over. Like that. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. We don't know what it's going to look like. We have no idea. Here's the unveiling. And we're going to peel back. Mm. Oh my goodness. Okay, now let's lay it down flat. We can lay it right on the plate? Yeah, let's, okay. We're going to make another impression. And yep. another one and then you see what you want to do with with these. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about your imagery coming through? I think it goes through perfectly. I like that 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 the um, this brown mutes it and it gives it even more um, age to it. What were you thinking when you made the, the calligraphy? When I made the calligraphy I was thinking about our friend, uh, our dear mutual friend, Lou Zacks, and I was thinking what what symbol I could use as just a starting point to do a, a, a piece of art that maybe had something to do, or at least a, an homage to Lou. And so I thought in terms of Tibetan calligraphy, the symbol Ho, um, it's, it's, it represents the uh, uh, um, I think the line goes something like, he who um, is the, the Vajra force that, um, that brings light to people, put, brings light into people's lives. And so I felt, um, well that's really nice for Lou, because uh, he was that kind of a guy. And um, he always had a big smile. He always had this great big smile and he... He was a diamond force, you know, a beautiful guy. And so I said, well, I, I, I can't think of a better one than that one. And unbeknownst to me, Dan simultaneously is working on a piece for it, which includes a typewriter, which is also calligraphy and modern, and Lou is, you know, all of that. So now we're going to think about color and other variations. Yeah. This is going to bring, I think, a little bit more uniformity. The with blue, the blue, carrying the blue. With the I blue, was wondering you know, thinking about that. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, because um, the other ones are quite just the pose, and that really works. Yeah. But this might, this will be a whole different look. I think for it'll sure. be more of an integrated feeling. Yeah, the blue. Yeah, be interesting. Oh, it's a different blue. It's a different blue. Oh, it's yeah. a totally different blue. Yeah. Did you leave some of the other color in there? In the middle, look like you did. There is yes. another color besides the blue. Yeah. 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 to see. So every time I see something that asks me to create another line. Yeah, yeah. Because of whatever it is that That's there. I tend to I see it. do that. See the line it. the line is a very to me is a very powerful thing. It's so powerful. And we'll, we'll see how this uh you know, it's kind of beautiful as it is, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Just 
to move it more this way. So, this... Oh, we didn't even look. Yep, we're going to look at it this way. Yeah, so subtle, subtle yeah. man. Different variations from Haydn. Oh yeah. It's the same theme, over and over in different piano arrangements. Arrangements. But the wow. same theme. So really? you get dun, 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 dun. You'll hear it over and over and over uh -huh. with all these different variations. Wow. Brahms was such a genius. That's what we're doing variations. Variations on. Uh, Okay, you can let go. That's good. Come on, baby. Yeah. Get the incantations going. Got the magic happening. Come on, baby. Yeah. <laughs> it's unbelievable.